and bake them and then slice them into smaller slices and then go sell them and that is it at a hundred eggs have money hey <laughs> welcome and welcome back to my channel and just in case it is your first time to be on this channel my name is benita so in case you've not subscribed to the channel kindly make a point to subscribe to the channel let's get to 2500 subscribers guys and also turn on your post notification bell so that you get notified anytime a new video is up or you'll be the first one to you know watch my videos anytime i upload one so guys today i'm doing the most requested video that i was to do months ago but i think now it's the perfect time that god has you know decided that we have to do the video so um with me i have my notebook and here it is guys i know it's old so and guys able tell me in the comment section how my my locks are doing you know <laughs> anyway guys let me get serious so um, I'm actually going to share with you some of um, the 10 business ideas that you can actually start as a side hustle or you can just start as, as something that you do just before you get to where you want to be in life. So the thing is guys, some of these ideas, I have actually tried them as a student and I think um, Anywho's, so I was telling you that some of the business ideas that I'm actually going to share with you, they are those business that I tried and um, it's not that I have given up on them, it's just that uh, another time has not just come for me to go back to my business. I'm very sure they are going to help you and uh, more especially if you are in campus or in college and uh, you don't have some money or you you know it's not easy to be sent money by your parents or they just don't have you know you have to survive so this is actually what i'm going to share with you and if you love such content um give the video a like and also comment in the comment section let me know what you think about um this video so guys let me just start from the first business idea. i think i'm going to start uh, with those um who are in school and then i'm going to I'm going to get to us now that uh, we are actually done with school so what we can get into so the first one that um that you can actually do and it's actually what i was doing is selling ladies clothes and uh, it's what really came through for me uh, for this one i'm talking about selling the second hand clothes you go to um how do we call it you go to this uh, second hand uh, market it can be gikomba if you are in kenya you can go to toy market you can go to where else I think I know those two. Personally, I think our ladies' clothes really go fast. And um, it's because women love shopping. And um, they just love, you know, to glow and look good, you know. So they, um, they can actually spend a lot of money just to look good and all that, you know. Unlike for men, they just buy once. I think it's because men's clothes um, are more expensive. Yeah. I didn't want to do something that was not going to give me money. So that is why I used to sell the ladies uh, clothes. And one of the items is actually mommy jeans. And you guys, um, if you've been following me, you actually know that I, I own a shop, an Instagram shop. It's still running. It's just that I'm on a break, guys. But I'm coming back. And let me tell you, my shop really... Uh, came through for me so i used to sell uh online and also at school you know we have the hostels i used to like hawk 
my mommy jeans around the hostel and actually people used to buy let me tell you uh something small about these mummy jeans so mummy jeans they are more of um fashionable that makes sense right yeah so people love love mummy jeans and i came to realize this later after um, i have sold some tops and um tops were not really doing so well so i decided that you know what i'm going to try mummy jeans and that is what i settled on so i decided to you know just sell mummy jeans so let me tell you how i used to make profit because guys i'm going to be so open to you so that anyone that is willing to you know start the business can actually get to start so for mummy jeans i used to go to gikomba market and um at gikomba market you go in the morning i told you so you go in the morning so that you get new new clothes <laughs> before what were chagwe chagwe and all that we call them camera so that is the market name so for you to get the camera mommy jeans you go in the morning when they open new stock so i used to go in the morning by six i'm actually at a gikomba so the the person who takes the the camera we have the first camera and the second one so the first one is actually the the most um new clothes and uh, so this person that is taking they used to take one at um 150 for mommy jeans okay and uh for the second camera which is us like whatever this first person is not liking now that is what you call second so you're just standing there and uh, you're waiting for that so that one they sell it at a hundred for mommy jeans okay and guys i have done actually a video showing you where you can get the the mommy jeans so imagine after getting now that uh, mommy jeans at a hundred then now you go sell it at around 350 400 if it's really nice and mine actually I used to sell them at 350 so i have made a profit of 250 imagine guys imagine sometimes when is a quite lucky considering this person uh, the, the person who is taking the first camera may actually say this is not something good and it's actually something good for you according to you so you get bahati and um, that is how you get the good uh, mommy jeans the second thing that i used to sell it's actually dresses but for dresses um i didn't like uh the profit because you buy a dress at 250 and then you go sell it at um, 300 400 500 people will not buy uh considering i was selling to comrades you know they will just be like ah, ah that is too much money where am i going to get my papa from so uh i stopped selling dresses but i used to you know pick three ama i buy for myself yeah so another thing is you can buy those leather jackets they go for 200 you can also find another one that goes for 150 yeah so it depends guys so you can sell them people love that you know it's fashion just go with the trend and then you can also sell the name jackets the names go for 200 and for me i wasn't selling them because how much was i going to you know sell to my comrades no so i decided to just focus on mommy jeans some tops tops go for 50 30 shillings you can get and then you go sell them at 200 you know and uh for me that is what i used to sell like mommy jeans tops and somehow dresses so the second a uh, business idea guys it's selling perfume refills okay guys this is actually the best this one i didn't do it for long i started you guys remember if you you know me you know that i lost my phone so after i lost that phone so i decided to get into another business that was going to help me at least get some money it will help me get a new phone so i got into selling perfumes and guys i tell you i made profits so uh for perfume refills uh, i'm going to share i think a picture somewhere on the screen so you're going to see them but um it's so unfortunate that i don't have the um, the bottles that measure whatever that i'm going to 
to say so for perfumes uh, this is actually what i used to do i go to dubois around there I'm going to actually get uh, the shops that sell perfumes and um for one ml i think i wish i had but you guys can know okay so i think next time i'm going to do a deeper explanation for perfume refills so for one ml they used to sell at 10 shillings some 11 shillings others eight shillings others can go up to uh five shillings you know if they have like the offers you know so um let's say you bought uh, a perfume one ml at um, 10 shillings so personally i used to sell two ml um, three ml four ml and and six six ml so for for two mls i used to sell it at 50 shillings for three mls i used to sell it at 100 four mls i used to sell at 150 and for six mls i used to sell it at 200 okay actually that is what happens even in town so that way you make a lot of a profit let me just take for the case of selling six ml at 200 so imagine you bought the perfume and then now you sell the six mls at 200 so how much profit have you made hmm? how much <laughs> guys it will count and let me know but it used to give me a lot of money and also you sell the bottles like those to chupa separately if someone doesn't have one you sell you sell to them okay to sell to them the chupas for me for six mls i used to sell it at 50 shillings for four ml at 40 the other one 30 the other one 20 that is how i used to and then buying them at wholesale so cheap another business idea is actually selling earrings guys because of earrings what they made a lot a lot of money so in case you're watching this and you think whatever i'm saying is actually true let me know in the comment section so for earrings we have you know those um nowadays i don't just wear them i feel like you know they're so heavy and then they cannot be seen you know my hair hides them so yeah i don't wear them but you see there are those loops if you are uh, a lady you understand so the loops they go for 30 shillings wholesale uh, you can actually find them at the boys just around there you will find them next i'm going to plug you guys i'm going to take you direct to that place and then of course of course i have the lady's number the one that sells earrings because i was working with her so i have the number and if you want i'm going to share with you uh so for earrings or the loops i was saying they go for 30 shillings wholesale and um when i buy at 30 shillings i go sell them at 100 70 shillings as profit so for the coated you understand as a lady the coated uh studs I sell them at 150 I buy them at 50 shillings each and then we have the anklets you guys know anklets is less than you put uh, ladies put um, on their on their legs yeah on, you can put them on your leg but people have stereotypes about them but anywho people used to buy them uh, I'm going to attach a picture so for the anklets I used to buy at 50 shillings and then I sell it at a hundred shillings for the studs, a studs in Tawanyisha Hapo, you guys are going to see them. So we have that Kaful uh, package. That thing is actually 30 shillings. Imagine. And then you count, we have around how many pieces? You guys are going to count them. I'm going to attach it. And then now you go selling it 20 shillings, you know, each or 30 shillings. Personally, I used to sell at 30 shillings you know what i did is actually i added 10 bob just for transport all the way from town to school another business idea guys it's you can actually sell necklaces you guys know them they also happen to be in the same shops around Du Bois. the gold one go for a hundred the silver one go for 50 shillings so more like i used to buy the um, the um, the silver one because people love silver because they do say that uh, silver doesn't fade um then i go sell it at 200 shillings and if someone bargains i sell it at 150 or at 120 
you know so that is a big big profit that i used to make there another business idea guys that can work for you is uh, doing makeup or just selling those makeup products you know so this one i never did it's not from my experience it's something that i have seen uh people do so as much as i used to walk around i used to see other people sell makeup and uh, people used to buy actually so you can do makeup products or you do makeup um services to people or to students, you know, just around school because people people don't know how to do makeup. Personally, I don't know how to do makeup. That is why mostly I don't have makeup on. And then another business idea, guys, it's cakes and queen cakes. This is now where you have those commuters. If you come from home or if you can access an oven, you can actually get to bake if you know. And um, get the cakes i used to see people sell them especially on our tax shops so people go there guys we can scare some to some to and i have to finish this video like yes it's been raining it's anyway so you can bake them and then slice them into smaller slices and then go sell them they actually have money another thing is that you can actually cook food you know in school we have some rich kids you know they don't prefer eating uh from mess so you can um, cook um selling it could be supper it could be lunch but mostly just sell for supper because for us most people were not taking lunch so supper was just a good idea i have some friends of mine who were selling rice and beef imagine at a hundred and that is it at a hundred so we have some other people who are selling eggs imagine because the eggs have money hey <laughs> okay that is something that i'm planning to do honestly um so you can sell those eggs you can sell smokies you can sell chapati you can sell chips they have money okay and people buy people love food you know and then another business idea that is more like related to this one is selling uh, fruit juice you know so it could be uh, mango passion those blended you know so you can sell such and people love 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 that so we have sizes we have the one that goes for 30 shillings the one that goes for 50 the other one that goes for 100 okay so it's now up to you to decide whatever that you know your your market <laughs> your market want another business idea guys it's salon and nails hmm what's that this one you see when i was in first year i used to see people you know pass or go through hostels uh rooms <laughs> People exercise like hours. Surely, when in the machine again is now, funny. I didn't get this point. I didn't know. I didn't know until I got to you know my third year. That is when I realized, huh? People were looking for money. If you have or if you know how to uh, plate people, if you know how to do nails or you know, if you have that that uh, gift, you can actually go just try and be mobile don't just sit there and wait for clients to come no look for them you can also have some posters and uh, write your name there and the services that you actually offer and do pedicure and uh, manicure for these people and they actually get to pay you it used to work so another business idea guys now i think i'm moving out of school it is now having a baby show this is another good idea that i think now it's so suitable for me the fact that i am actually done with school so you can have a baby shop online you can have a shop that is physical you know babies are being born like daily like every day we have babies are getting born and so baby's shop is actually the most amazing business idea that you can actually do and sometimes me na imagining it too for a mother they can actually sacrifice uh, not to buy themselves anything but get to buy for their babies right you go to gikomba market toy market that is where they sell them cheaply and then you go sell them and uh, you know make a profit and earn a living from it 
and then another thing that i want to share is actually let me get another one guys ni kama nimewambia all ni kama nimewambia around 10 so the last one that i want to share with you it's actually starting a youtube channel let me tell you i started my channel personally as a side hustle because that time i was in school and i figured out okay what if i do this um, youtube and maybe one day it's going to pay me you know right now i actually get paid by youtube and um it's more like a side hustle you know so if you have um content or if you think you can actually be in front off the camera and speak to people convince people to consume your content then why not why not do it guys actually it's not even hard youtube is just a space for everyone you can come you know tell people whatever that you want to tell them as long as people love your content you're going to get a uh, monetized you get some money okay it doesn't have to be youtube alone we also have instagram you know if you have a huge uh, following you get paid to promote other people's products you know by the way partnerships partnerships yeah you promote their products they pay you and let me tell you that is where i am dreaming to be oh god may my channel grow so that <laughs> i get to that point i know there's someone who once told me that whatever you do do it with your heart do it like you it's it's something do it like it's something that you know you want to do it okay just do it with passion okay because people are watching brands are actually watching and the moment that they're going to see that you know what i can actually work with this person uh then they're going to look for you i'm actually manifesting that by the end of this year i get to 5000 subscribers i really hope i i get there so anyway guys those are the business ideas that i wanted to share personally from my experience if you want me to talk about them like individually these are the um, perfume refills and uh, the gikomba ladies clothes i can actually give you details i can even share the numbers that i used to you know talk to my people at the market and they're going to help you get started and someone may be asking where am i going to get this money imagine let me just give you something am i should i give it okay let me just tell you that when i started i started with 500 shillings 500 i went bought some um, tops in fact it wasn't even 500 500 was for the mummy jeans mummy jeans i started with 500 i went, bought uh, five mummy jeans and then I sold the profit. I went got another. Uh, I went got other mummy jeans, and then for tops, it's actually what I started with a hundred. So that day, I remember, guys. Okay, I think I'm going to spill everything I don't want. So I'm going to speak about this in my next video. If you think this is the kind of content that you love, then like the video. And also subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notification bell so that you get notified anytime a new video is up okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one